Hey everyone, in this video I'm going to do an unboxing of a package of goodies that I picked up online from the Cinema Sickness store on Instagram, which I believe is called It Came From Cinema Sickness. Uh, so anyone who's not familiar with that, Cinema Sickness is a YouTuber who makes uh, some really cool videos about, um, he goes basically all around and uh, to thrift stores, the big box stores, and all kinds of different places. Uh, any place that has physical media, basically, so DVDs and Blu-rays and all kinds of other formats. And uh, he just makes a bunch of videos where he goes out and hunts for things, and uh, he shows off his massive collection that he has um, in his basement. It's a very, you know, in-depth collection with all kinds of different formats and uh, just everything. So, um, really cool. I've been following his channel for a long time and um, found some cool things on his uh, store. So, I'm going to open this up and show you guys what I found there. I'm trying to cover up, you know, all this uh, mailing stuff, but I wanted to just show you the, uh, you know, his website there, cinemasickness.com. If you go there, you can find all kinds of, uh, uh, I don't know, anything that you want related to his uh, YouTube channel or the store or any of that. So highly recommend you guys check that out if you're interested. Um, with that said, I'm going to turn this around here, and then I'm going to try and go ahead and uh, open this so I can show you guys... Uh, what I picked up from his store. So let's see if I can get this open. Let's see here. This is packed very well, so it's kind of hard to get into actually. So. All right, so here you can kind of see what we've got here. I picked up five different things, um, and they're all various formats, so I'm just going to pull these all out here. And I guess I'll just show you from top to bottom here. I don't think there's anything else in here. It's just the uh, five items, so that is awesome. So I'll show you what I got here. The first one here is Disney's Happy Holidays with Darkwing Duck and Goofy. I have had this VHS for a long time. Um, uh, not, I actually, uh, let's see, what did I do? I made a, well, so the thing I do with VHS tapes, I don't really collect VHS tapes that much, but, um, you know, only my absolute favorites, which this is kind of going to be one of them, um, but otherwise, I just, you know, any VHS tapes that I want to have in, in my collection, I make digital copies of them. You know, I just, I have a VCR, and I, re I just uh, uh, record them onto a digital uh, file on the computer. So I don't, you know, because VHS tapes really take up a lot of space. But what I've been doing lately is just for some of my absolute favorite um, old VHS tapes, I've, I've been collecting just a few of them just to have... Uh, you know, sitting on the shelf just for decor decorative purposes mainly. And so this is one that I saw on his store that I really wanted to pick up because it's brand new and sealed, and that's awesome. And this has always been one of my favorites, especially around the holidays. Uh, Goof Troop and then Darkwing Duck. Um, so this is cool, and I just really like the artwork of this. So, so there it is. This is awesome. And, uh, you know, there's a look at the spine. It's still got the Disney seal and everything, the proof of purchase tab, so you can tell this is absolutely brand new, and uh, so that is awesome, and then here is a look at the back, again, really, really nice artwork, and that's why I wanted to have this in my collection. I don't intend on, uh, I don't intend to open this, at least not anytime soon. I don't think I will probably ever, because I just don't think there's a reason to. I think it's just awesome to have this factory sealed, and if there was another one, you know, if I wanted to have a copy of this that was opened ever. I could just buy a used copy somewhere um, and keep this one sealed because that's just so cool. Um, so that was a cool find. Then this one is, this one's not really a rare title or anything, but this was reasonably priced. I uh, Well, seven. See, he's got little stickers on here for how much everything is. So seven and then five. So that's how much I paid for all these. And um, so this one, this one is, uh, this isn't like uh, anything vintage or anything, but I thought this was a reasonable price. It's DVD, Blu-ray with 3D content, and it's uh, an elf story on Blu-ray here. 
And um, yeah, I just don't have this one in my collection yet. The only thing I'm not sure about is if this originally came with a slip cover. I don't know, but this one didn't come with one. So, um, but it was cheap enough where I'm like, well, I'm just gonna go ahead and get this for my Christmas collection. Um, so I don't know if it's any good or not, or if I'm gonna like it, but that's okay. It was a cheap enough price where I'm like, all right, let's just go for it. So what we've got inside is, uh, I think just two discs here. Um, so we've got uh, an Elf Story just on DVD, it looks like, right here on the left. And then we've got an Elf Story uh, 3D Blu-ray right here on the right. And I'm guessing that this has the 3D uh, Blu-ray feature and also standard, um, both of them in one. Um, not really sure. You know, you can see on the front it's just DVD and Blu-ray 3D, so maybe it is just 3D. I don't know. I hope it does have standard as well, but I don't know. I guess we'll see. But one thing I didn't actually notice is this isn't like a full-length movie. It's uh, only 24 minutes, so it's like a TV special, I guess. So, um, yeah, I, I wasn't aware of that, but that's I'm not, I'm not really disappointed in that, I guess, because, uh, I don't know, I like short films too, so... Um, so there's that, an Elf story, good one for the Christmas collection. And then another interesting one here that he had. I have never heard of this, um, but it just looked kind of quirky and weird and interesting. So uh, here it is. It's called What a Mess, uh, Christmas Mess. And it's just, well, we've got a uh, scraggly looking deer with a bunch of Christmas ornaments on it. I, I think that's a deer, or maybe it's a dog, or I don't know. <laughs> but anyway... Um, this just looked like a really interesting, weird uh, Christmas title, so I'm like, all right, I'll go ahead and get that. And in addition to that, it's factory sealed, so that's kind of cool, too. Uh, here is a look at the spine, and I thought that this was like a special of some sort, but it looks like it's actually a TV series, 10 mess Messy Episodes. Uh, here's a look at the back. You've got some thumbnails, and it looks like, uh, it does look like some kind of classic 90s animation, and you can see... Copyright 1995 Deke Entertainment down here. So, yeah, this is an older uh, cartoon, I guess. And uh, you can see it's got a bu uh, bunch of episodes here. And then some bonus episodes, too. So, um, yeah, interesting-looking uh, old 90s show. So, wanted to pick that up, and that was 5 bucks, So, pretty cheap there as well. And this was the main reason that I wanted to make this purchase. Um, so these were all extra things I wanted to just add to the order. Um, but these were the two things that I was like, wow, I want to pick those up because I don't have any of these. These are mini DVDs, mini size discs, and um, also play in full size DVD players. It says you probably have to be really careful with that because, you know, I'm guessing in certain DVD players it could get stuck or something. I don't, I don't know, but um, I don't know. I was just like... I've never owned one of these, and I really want to own some mini DVDs, so I picked up two titles. Free Willy, I, I already have this. Uh, I already have this on DVD. I I don't remember. I th no, I think I have this on Blu-ray, too, actually. So now I have, like, three copies of this, I guess, which I really don't need, but I just wanted to have this mini disc because it's just cool. So Free Willy is a good classic movie, but, yeah, this mini disc is, this is something else. And you can see, look at this interesting packaging here on the back. It's just got this cutout for the disc here. A uh, little description. And then, uh, let's see what else we've got. Just uh, your standard information there. 111 minutes. And we do have the uh, one disc floating here. That's unfortunate. But uh, that'll happen in shipping. And it, it does look like there's maybe a little scratch on there. But that's no big deal. Um, so let's see. So this is interesting. I'll show you the disc here first. This is disc one. So here's the artwork on this. And it kind of has that classic artwork on it, which, which is pretty cool. Um, so there's that. And, you know, I'm guessing since these are, you know, this is a mini DVD, so it they probably couldn't fit in the entire feature length movie on, you know, just one of these. So hence why it, why that's, why it's like that. Uh, kind of weird that it is actually a standard size DVD case in here, though. Um, yeah, so this one, it just doesn't really stick in here all that well, but oh well. Um, so, and then here we have disc number two. And this one just has some of the uh, ocean background there, which is pretty nice as well. 
cool to see some variety. But there it is, disc two. So yeah, this is just such a unique thing. Um, so definitely didn't need to get this for my collection, but I just wanted to because it's like, this is so unique. Um, and then I was just going to buy one, but then I saw this one too. Uh, so this is Mucha Lucha, Heart of Lucha. I don't have any sort of DVDs of this show whatsoever. And I, I sort of remember watching this, like, I think this was an old, uh, uh, Toon Disney Jetix sort of show, something like that. Um, I can't remember what other channels it was on, but I, uh, you know, I'm, I might have watched this like a couple times when it was on TV. Not much, and definitely not a show that I was like, you know, really dying to watch ever, but I, I thought this was really cool just to get a little sampling of that show, and it's another mini DVD, so uh, pretty nice colorful artwork on here too, so and then here's the spine, and these are bo both Warner Brothers releases. So here's on the back a little description. There's the disc you can see there. I'll pull that out, and uh, let's see. This is 65 minutes, so I, I think there's just one disc inside this one. And then inside we have actually an insert coming soon to mini DVD. So this was a little thing for a while. Um, this mini DVD thing, and I do remember, you know, back when these were kind of coming out, there were, like, mini DVD players that you could get that were really small, like, they were just a little bit bigger than a, a Game Boy Advance SP, and, um, so, and actually, here's a picture of one right here, this is the exact one I remember, kind of a handheld little DVD player, so back in the, I don't know, early 2000s or whenever it was, when these were temporarily a thing, I guess, um, yeah, that's, you know, they, they released a, you know, a good chunk of movies on mini DVD, but it never really took hold, obviously. Um, I do remember seeing, like, Kangaroo Jack and a few of these other ones at Best Buy, but uh, never picked them up back in the day, so um, kind of cool just to have just a little sampling of these anyways. Um, so, so, yeah, so here are... Uh, some of these, this is just a cool little uh, uh, manual here. Mini DVD also plays in full size DVD player, but again, you got to be kind of careful with these. I'm guessing, like, um, you know, if you stick this into, you know, some kind of DVD player that sucks in the discs or something, I could imagine they might get stuck. I don't know, but uh, something like this where you can actually physically place it in the tray, uh, you might be okay. So, Anyways, so like I said, this is just one disc, so we'll take a look at the disc here. And it's got nice artwork on there. And a little list of episodes there as well. So this is pretty cool, and uh, can't wait to check these out. Um, so, man, these, this is really cool to have these mini DVDs. I don't intend to get any more, really. Um, I just wanted to get just this little sampling of them, but man, are these cool. So... Um, so again, I, I just wanted to make this video to show you guys these and also just to say, you know, especially, you know, in this time of this crazy virus thing going around, try to support your uh, small businesses as much as you can. Um, you know, you can't really go shopping at the big box stores for movies, so why not support uh, some of the smaller businesses? So Cinema Sickness Online is one of them and... You know, there's a lot of other ones out there, and, you know, obviously you can't you know, go into any physical stores to support small businesses, but any of them that are, you know, selling stuff online or whatever, you know, if you got if you got some extra money and you want to, um, you know, help somebody out and also get some cool things for yourself, that's, uh, you know, I, I think that's a good thing to do. Um, so support your small businesses. Um, and uh, get some really unique things like this, things that you maybe wouldn't otherwise get. That was, you know, that was one of the one of my uh, other reasons for picking these up. I would have probably bought these, you know, regardless of this virus thing or anything like that. But, um, but you know, that kind of made that was kind of the tipping point where I'm like, all right, I'm gonna I'm gonna definitely pick these up because it's like, well, in addition to getting some really cool things for reasonable prices. I'm also, you know, supporting a small business, and I think that's a really good thing, too. So, um, and, and um, like I kind of showed you with these prices, um, before, let's see, before shipping and before taxes, it was $25 for all these, so roughly five bucks a piece, 
Um, I think it was four each for these, and then this was five, this was five, and this was seven, so 25 bucks. And then shipping and tax, it ended up being a little bit under 35 bucks, and that was, I would say, a pretty good deal for getting all these things, especially since these are uncommon finds. Um, maybe not this one here, but the rest of these are all uncommon things that you would kind of have to hunt down, and um, so uh, just really cool to, you know, get some of these uh, more unique items, so. Anyway, that ended up being a very long video, but I hope you guys enjoyed it, and uh, we'll see you in the next video.